Okay, so you have your cube done, and what we want to do now is add a hole to the bottom. A couple ways you can do that, let me get my navigation bar back here, there it is, is you can use your orbit tool, just click on it, come over, bring your cursor into the middle, and you just left click and hold and you can drag it to where you can get to your bottom, and then escape out of your tool, and you can click on the view cube and look at the bottom. So we're going to place what's called a point down here. And, but first what we have to do is start a 2D sketch just like you would uh, put something on any face of the cube just make sure you click on the bottom and you'll get your graph paper and you should be able to find the center pretty simple with the graph paper go up to the ribbon in the create section there is the point tool click on it come down to the center of your cube go ahead and click once and you'll notice that you do have that point left. You're done with your sketch, so go ahead and finish your sketch. And it should switch over to the 3D Model tab. And now you're going to select the whole <coughs> tool up in the Modify area of the 3D Model ribbon. And here is the whole menu. And yours probably says through all. So all you have to do is change that to distance. And then we're going to select this tapped hole, so make sure you select that. It might take about 10 to 15 seconds to actually appear. Be patient. And the menu will change. You'll have some options down here. There we go. And the diameter of the hole that we want is 0.5, so go down here to size. It is in numeric order, so just go up, click on that 0.5. And then we're going to change a couple of things up here. So this is the entire whole uh, distance here. So we're going to change that to one inch. And then the thread length, we're just going to do 0.75. And then you just go ahead and click Enter. You should be all set. And you'll notice that you have some thread inside here. And then don't forget to go ahead and save that. It'll take just a moment. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit the Home button. And I want to fillet these edges here to make them kind of a, a nice rounded edge here. So I'm going to go up to the fillet tool, activate it, and we're just going to keep the eighth inch fillet, which is 0 0.125. And just make sure you click on all the edges here, turn around them off, or to fillet them. All the ones you can see from this isometric view. Of course, we're going to have to use the orbit tool to get to the other side escape out of that and continue the fillets. I'm just going to go ahead and OK that and click the fillet tool again and continue my fillets. And that should be it. And home. It looks like we're good to go there. So go ahead and save that again after you fillet that. And now what we're going to do is create a handle for our infant rattle and this is what it looks like. In order to start a new tool or I'm sorry a new part you just go up here to the quick access toolbar and just click this little rabbit eared piece of paper and you'll get your create new file menu. Select that standard IPT and just like everything that you want to start that's brand new start your 2D sketch. Let's select the XY plane Activate your circle tool. Bring it out anywhere. I like to select this quadrant. Open it up and you should be able to edit your uh, diameter right away. We want to do 0.5 because that's the same diameter as the hole in the bottom of our uh, infant rattle. So just hit enter after you hit the 0.5. And we're done with our sketch. So you come up here to finish sketch. And I like to hit that home button, center it up. And then we're going to extrude it to 6 inches. So go ahead and click the extrude option up here in the 3D ribbon and change that one inch to six and enter. And again, I like hitting the home button so you can see what you're doing. <coughs> Brings it into a nice isometric view. Then what we want to do is I'm going to have you chamfer the bottom of this handle here just to make it look nicer. And there's a tool up here right next to the fillet that we, that we just used. Select that. And again, we're going to keep the eighth inch and just mouse over the bottom so you get that red little oval. Go ahead and click it once and check it, and there you go.
At this time, if you would like to change the color, just go up here and I'm going to make it, oh, flake satin blue. You can select any color you'd like. But there's one other thing we have to add up here. Uh, do you know what that could be? Now remember, we added some thread to the inside of the hole on the bottom of the rattle. So let's go up to the thread tool, but first let's select where we want to add the thread. In this case, it's our cylinder that we made. Go ahead and click once. You'll notice it's kind of turned this light blue. That's a bad color to, to show for an example. But anyway, it's, it's been selected. And then you go up to thread, and you'll notice the thread appears on the entire cylinder. We don't want that. Right now it's defaulted to full length, so uncheck that full length little box. And as you recall, our thread length was only 0.75, so let's change that one inch to 0.75. And go ahead and apply, and you'll notice it appears up there, and then you can exit out of the thread menu. And you've got yourself your handle. Now, instead of hitting the Save button up here, we're going to go down to the Application Options menu. Select the Save As. Now, on this drop-down, make sure you go down to your H drive. You'll see an H at the end of it, but it should be your username before all that. It'll say Porter Student Home. And select it. I have a lot of things in my folder. I'm just going to go ahead and name this Candle. And Save. And now you're ready to do what's called an assembly. You should have both your cube and your handle ready to go. So to start a new assembly, very similar to starting a new part, go up to this rabbit ear piece of paper, that new button up in the quick access toolbar. And this time we're going to pick standard IAM. This might be in a different order for you. You might only have one or two. Just make sure it's the standard IAM. Select it, hit create. And now it looks familiar. The graphics window looks very familiar. However, the ribbon has changed. And your ribbon tabs have changed a little bit. Make sure you have the place picture up here. Place component. There's other options, but the one we want is the place. Go ahead and click on it. And it's going to want you to select the parts you would like to assemble. Make sure that the look in little area has your H drive in it. And you should see your parts. And what I like to do is simply click on the actual part in my folder and you'll see a preview here right above the quick launch and that's indeed the one I want. So I'm going to open that. It will look massive in the graphics window here. All you have to do is just your normal left click once. It will look familiar, your isometric view. And it, it wants to allow you to add multiple parts. In this case, we only need one. So just like any tool you want to get out of, you just hit the escape. And there you go. And then, of course, we have to add our handle. So go up to this place, click it again, go down, find your handle, open it up. I like to place it near my uh, rattle head. Again, hit escape, so you only want one. And I'm going to go ahead and use the orbit tool now to kind of orbit to see the opening of my hole. And you want to be able to see the very end of the opening down here. Hit escape to get out of your orbit tool. And then we want to go back up to the ribbon and click on constraint. And the constraint that we want, there's five options. The one we want is right here. It's called insert. Click on insert and mouse over your handle. I'm going to zoom out so I can see my arrow. You wouldn't want your arrow down at this end because that's the end of our handle. We want the top because that's the part that's going to be inserted into that hole in our uh, rattle head there. So make sure the arrow is pointing out above the thread. So once you've confirmed and you, know, you see that nice center line there, once you've confirmed that that's what you want, click once. Your center line goes away, however, the arrow remains. So next we need to mouse over where we would like to insert this. And we are in the opposed uh, selection in the solution area. So you'll see an arrow coming out at you, but there's two little red circles that you'll see. This one here, we don't want to connect that handle to the outside. We want to connect to the inside. So you want to get that inside circle. And it's kind of tricky. Just make sure you mouse up there till you see it. Once you get that, go ahead and click once. You'll hear that snap. That means you've uh, assembled that together. Then you can go ahead and apply it. And then exit out of the menu. And then, of course, I like to hit that home button to see what I have. And there's our finished rattle. So go up to the Application Options menu. Go ahead and save as. Make sure you're in your H drive. And I'm going to call this Rattle Final. I'm going to 
capitalize. And this is my second sample, so I'm going to put a two, but you shouldn't have to do that. And then go ahead and save. And you're all set and ready. Just check in with me. And if you have any questions whatsoever, either ask a student near you who might be successful, or you can ask me if I'm available.